Hi, I'm Cale from Melling. Thanks for clicking. Judging from the returns we've been seeing in the warranty department, we need to spend some time discussing GM LS displacement on demand or AFM lifter replacement. Anytime you replace AFM lifters, the entire lifter bore must be measured, the lifter guides must be replaced, the v -loam filter must be replaced, and the v -loam should be tested or replaced. We have found that most return lifters have no fault. This indicates the lifters were replaced due to either oil pressure or oil control issues. The AFM system has an operating range from 27 to 66 PSI of oil pressure. The high end of this range is controlled by the AFM bypass located in the oil pan. The low side is going to be dependent on the engine's ability to produce oil pressure. The AFM lifter bores have a spec of 843 to 844 thousandths and the lifters require 22 PSI of pressure to release the locking pins during AFM activation. Taking these two things into consideration, a lifter bore that is even slightly worn can bleed off enough oil to prevent AFM function and lifter pump up. If your lifter bores are out of spec, you will either need to replace the block or have the bores machined and sleeves installed. The AFM activation and deactivation is controlled by the valve lifter oil manifold or VLOM. The VLOM applies pressurized oil to the AFM lifters when cylinder deactivation is requested and shuts off that supply of oil when activation is requested. The oil supply to the VLOM passes through the VLOM filter which is located in the VLOM under the oil pressure sending unit. This filter should be checked as part of the AFM system diagnosis. Cylinder activation and deactivation are both supposed to take place in the base circle of the cam lobe, making the transition from four to eight cylinder modes unnoticeable to the driver. We have received lifters back that have been stuck in the compressed state. We feel that these lifters have been activated or deactivated in either the ramp or the peak of the cam lobe. This would indicate a control issue caused by the VLOM or possibly a plugged VLOM filter. Lifters returned with no obvious failures are tested at the 22 PSI minimum. We have found that most lifters unlock and pump up. This would indicate a control or oil pressure issue. I'm Cale from Melling. Thanks for clicking.